Now, if you haven't come across this, I heartily recommend reading uh, Alfie Inga Wang's blog on the Get Kahoot site, uh, in which he talks a little bit about different ways that you can play Kahoot. And one of the ways he suggested, or one of the questions uh, he uh, he designed, was a reveal question. Now, for those of you who are uh, uh, a little bit older, you might remember Catchphrase, the ITV quiz a uh, question where a quiz show where uh, they had a picture in the background that was slowly revealed uh, by taking away a number of blocks. Uh, and this is what uh, Alfie uh, shows you how to do on that blog. Uh, but he does it, I think, with Photoshop. Now, he's got skills uh, far better than I, uh, but I thought I'd try and give it a go using PowerPoint. Uh, and I think I've sort of managed by using PowerPoint and YouTube. So let me show you how it works. Uh, first of all, uh, I need to get PowerPoint up. Now I'm using PowerPoint 2013 and I'm going to click on blank presentation. Uh, what you notice with PowerPoint 2013 is that the default view uh, is this. Uh, the slide is widescreen. Now if you're on PowerPoint 2010, I think there are YouTube videos that allows you to kind of put it into this view. Now the reason why it's on uh, widescreen is apparently this is the best view for YouTube videos. Right, now with that done, I'm going to go and change this slide layout because I want a blank slide. Now I'm going to put my picture on the blank slide and that will be the picture that we slowly revealed. But I find it much easier if I add the picture to the background because it stops uh, fiddling about with layers and, and problems with the with the uh, the blocks that hide it. So I'm going to click on picture or text fill, click on uh, file and for this demonstration it would seem suiting, uh, suitable that I or fitting rather, that I choose the Kahoot logo as my question to reveal. Now that's in the background, which means all I need to do now is add the shapes onto it. You'll notice I've got the ruler, the ruler, the ruler enabled here, and this comes to 34. I quite like doing a reveal with two rows of four, which means that the shapes I need to draw are about eight and a half across. So with that knowledge, I click on insert and shape and I select a rectangle and I sort of carefully drag it down to the zero mark. Now you notice there's a little dotted line that appears that helps you with the guide and then across to nine and a half like that. Yep, and let go. And then what I tend to do is I add in uh, an outline, uh, quite a thick outline because that allows me not to be so uh, accurate when I'm pushing the shapes together. Uh, what I need to do now is I need to copy this, so Control C and Control V, and just move it across like that and line it up. And then I'm going to select both using Shift, copy and paste again, because I'm lazy, link those together. And then finally select the lot, Control C and Control V, and move them down like that. So that's fairly well lined up. But the next thing that I do is I change the transparency of the blocks. And there's two reasons why I do that. We're just going to highlight those blocks. Um, if I just drag this like here, there are two reasons, as I said. One is it helps me see where the blocks are lined up. And if there's any overlap, you can see here this goes slightly off uh, the screen. So I can go back and select these again. And I can just drag it up slightly so you'll see the edges like that. But the main and the most important reason for putting in, uh, making them transparent is when I do the reveal question, the last thing I want to have happen is the answer be revealed on the first block that disappears. So what I can do is I can select the order that I want the blocks to uh, be shown or to be hidden, I should say. So I click on shift uh, and I'm going to select this one. Then I'm going to go to uh, this one then this one, then this one, that's four, five, you don't need to do the counting, uh, six, seven, and eight. So all my blocks are now selected, so I need to now go to animation, and I'm going to add the animation in, and the animation I want is exit and fade. I can then go to the animation pane to find that they're, they're all there. Uh, if I select the first one and then double click on the last one, 
I can now go and adjust the timings. And the timings I like to use are uh, with previous, eh, sorry, after previous, and then a delay of about one and a half seconds. And then I choose a sort of medium fade. Click OK. And that will start beginning to show what is going on. I'm going to stop this because what I need to do is I need to change the transparency back uh, to make this fully hidden. Let me just highlight the whole lot. Oops, haven't done that. There we go. And then change the transparency all the way back down to zero. Let's just preview it. Play all. Here we go. And you can see that it is slowly revealing the background in the time that I want. That's absolutely fine. Let's stop it. The next thing I need to do is save the presentation. Let's just save it uh, uh, on my desktop. Um, let's call it question one. Yeah, you can see I've had many goes at practicing this. So what do I need to do is I now need to export this as a video. So I go to file and I go to export and I click on create a video. Um, the presentation quality, I just normally stick with internet quality. And then rather annoyingly, I don't get the option to use the recorded timings, even though I've set them. What I've got to do is if I click on here, I've got to go and record the timings. Now I haven't played about with this a lot, but what I've read, what I find is if I click on start recording, what I don't have to do is keep going through the whole of this for, for this to uh, work. I can just simply stop the recording like this and when I go back now I can just use those recordings and when I create the video and let's just call it question one again uh, let's overwrite the one that's there the video will be made uh, thankfully it doesn't take too long um, Okay, I'm going to do it real time here, so no pausing of the video. Hopefully not too long to go now. Gosh, I think that's that done. Let's go and find it. I think it was in downloads, was it? Uh, or was it in desktop? Let's just search for question one. There it is there. Let's double click on it to have a look. Ah, now that's of course a slight problem in that it's got my video recording going through it. That was a little bit daft. I wonder why it stopped there. Okay, that seems to work okay. Let's stop it. So let's get on to YouTube. Um, where's YouTube? Here it is here. Obviously you've got to have an account. Uh, I've got one set up. So I simply click on upload. Uh, I select the file that I want to go. There it is, question one. Let's open it to upload it. Uh, and in the meanwhile, as it's uploading, it will give me my link to where it is. So I'm just going to copy this. Because in true Blue Peter fashion, here is my Kahoot question already set up. Uh, there's question one. Uh, what awesome free quiz app is hidden behind the screen? I can just paste in that link. To Kahoot and then I'm just going to remove the bits that I don't need like that. Kahoot's got my uh, my selected answer with uh, some rivals. Uh, change my playback to one second that's fine. Um, let's just go and check on that. Seems to be done. Just click on publish. Yep, uh, let's go back to here. Let's save and continue. Uh, let's save and continue. Click on done. Let's preview it. Here we go. Almost. Let's play classic mode. Game pin coming up. Six three one seven zero eight. Enter. It's me. Click OK. Start the game. And hopefully, you'll now see the video. Um, unfortunately, with a little bit of me speaking.
I'm not quite sure why my recording's done that. Anyway, that's how it works. Click on Kahoot. There we go. And that has taken me to record and do, uh, gosh, about 10 minutes or so. But uh, hopefully uh, you'll agree it's quite uh, a nice uh, alternative question style. And, uh, you know, you don't have to be a Photoshop expert to get it to work. Uh, give it a go. Enjoy. Are we done?